Yo, nice to have you back on the channel. I hope you're doing great today. We just go in Ableton in a session that I did yesterday and I show three really nice Ableton tricks I do sometimes because people ask me for more tutorials and we're doing all this like one hour sessions and no talking videos because they're easy to produce for me. I make more music, what is nice for me and uh, you guys see everything uncutted but you don't forget the tutorials so let's jump into Ableton. So in Ableton I have this uh, recording here and what I did is um, we just have this well, I don't know sound here record it toms mm -hmm. and we warp it we loop it and then I go on tones and put the grand size on 22 something like this find sweet spot that I like to hear I don't know here there maybe there and this keeps like this so and then you already will hear I also doubled it. So sometimes you can play with the grain size here. So you find a sweet spot. I like the greediness that we get from this. And then I put the mood switch. Uh, in this case now, mm, he cuts a little bit the bass away. And we have a limiter. And then I put the corpus in membrane mode just to give this overtones a little bit more like yeah, you hear better what's happening. And it gets this nice character. Find the sweet spot. And then the phaser doing the magic in this case. Find the right center. We're having low frequencies, so let's go down. And a bit less feedback here. And with this, we literally did that the mood switcher. When I make it off, that's the sound. We change it because of the grid that we choose to fuck. And then we changing just the, the acoustic itself with corpus and phaser. We then put it in a reverb. So that's one thing. If I did blah, 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 anti solo this, kill this, and show you this a little bit in context, um, I put that here where I like I put the mood switcher and I have this like loopy sound here. Let's go somewhere where it's playing properly. Of course, this one is not playing here. I oh, know we just have to go in the arrangement. Yeah, so. Uh, I have it here, the mood switcher, and what I did here is like we have this loop. Just simple. Bu -bu -bu -bu. And then the mood switcher, what is the same here? Just put that. So I put a lot of feedback here. And that gives me this overtone that changes the sound completely. In a context. This function here a lot to get like a nice shaping gritty sound and uh, shape it a little bit out um, and then corpus phaser combination gives you a weird psychotus acoustic 
And then the third thing I want to show you is actually my master chain because I simplified it as fuck yesterday just for, uh, yeah, finish this track in a way that I can just play it. And this is bouncy now because I have Roa as a mastering chain now, a bit of a queuing and a, a limiter, that's it. Without the mastering, of course it's more quiet, but like you can hear what I mean. with the master. The push that we got from Roa here. is super nice. And the thing is, in Roa you have the routing and you can make a multiband. So you can like split the mids and the highs. And I can just, I don't know, push a little bit here the bass. Push a little bit the mids because this track is li really living from the low mids. And then the highs. Shakers. So yeah, um, sure mastering is way complexer and there will be like a full video course on some point I guess because this is literally like 10 videos we can talk about it. But If you want to keep it simple, make um, Aurora, an EQ, and a limiter, and figure that stuff out. Because this stuff is really cool. Nice, easy, and simple, but really effective tricks that I use in the moment a lot. And I wanted to share. Okay, like and subscribe, that helps. And yeah, I have preset packs and a Discord community if you want to join. We're getting really active now. I love it. And to all Discord members, I love you guys. We see us in the chat and for the rest, we see us next week. Peace.